Good day, learners. In this video, we will discuss about investigating the relationship between the angle of release and the height and range of the projectile. Let's begin. Most ball games require the ball to be thrown, hit or kicked to reach a certain distance and height. For example, in basketball, the player has to shoot the ball inside the ring few meters above the ground. On the other hand, in baseball, the player has to hit the ball going to a given distance. If you were asked to play any of those ball games, what will you consider to reach the required height or distance? One thing we can consider is the angle of release. As you can recall, an object releases from a horizontal or any angle other than 90 degrees follows a projectile motion. Each angle of release corresponds to specific height and distance an object can reach. The highest position an object can reach from the ground where its velocity is zero is the height of the projectile. On the other hand, the maximum horizontal distance it can cover is the range. Let us first consider an object released horizontally. For example, a rolling marble with a velocity of 5 meters per second fell from the table with a height of 0.784 meter and followed by the trajectory shown in the figure. Since it is released horizontally, our angle of projection is zero. The height of the projectile is just the initial height of the object when it is launched. At this position, the vertical velocity of the marble is zero. From the given information, let us try to determine the range of the projectile. The range of the projectile can be computed by multiplying the velocity of the marble at the time the projectile reached the ground. We can use the height to determine the time it will take the marble to reach the ground. Now we already know the time when the ball will reach the ground, we can compute the range. The horizontal velocity at this time is similar to the initial horizontal velocity. Multiplying the horizontal velocity with the time will give the range. The range of a horizontally projectile is dependent on the initial velocity. Let's try to apply what we have learned so far. Arvin wants to shoot the bullseye of the dart board, so he hold the dart directed towards the bull SI. Do you think it is possible for Arvin to shoot the bullseye? The answer is no. We know that the dart will not move straight because of the action of gravity. Instead, it will follow a parabolic path as shown. Now let us discuss projectile launched at different angles. Consider a man hitting a ball with a baseball bat with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second at different angles as shown in the figure. Which angle of projection will result in maximum height? To the greatest range? Consider the initial position of the ball as the origin. We can use the equation for y given above to determine which angle will give the maximum height. Let's begin with 15 degrees. Let us substitute the given values into the equation, then simplify. The maximum height reached 15 degrees is 0.34 m. Try solving using the remaining angles. The height for each angle was recorded on the table. What can you notice on the height as the angle of release approaches zero? The height increases as the angle of release approaches zero. Now, let's try to solve the range of the different angles using the equation x. Let's begin with 15 degrees. Let us substitute the given values into the equation, then simplify. The range at an angle of 15 degrees is 5.1 m. Try solving each range for each given angle. These are the range of the projectile at different angles. Did you get the same answer? What can you notice about the range? We can see that the range is maximum at 45. Moreover, the results showed that complementary angles have the same range for the same initial velocity. Knowing these, we can play better in various ball games. We can kick, 
hit, or throw a ball at specific angle to attain the desired height or range. In summary, we have learned that each angle of release corresponds to different height and range of projectile. The table summarizes some points to remember about the height and range of a projectile. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. At what angle will you hit a ball so that it will reach the farthest distance possible? A. 15 degrees B. 60 degrees C. 45 degrees D. 90 degrees The correct answer is C. 45 degrees. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following pairs of angles will give same range for the same initial velocity? A. 40 degrees and 60 degrees. B. 90 degrees and 30 degrees. C. 70 degrees and 20 degrees. D. 10 degrees and 50 degrees. The correct answer is C, 70 and 20. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following angle of release has the greatest chance of shooting the ball? The correct answer is A. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following figures is correct? The correct answer is A. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following statements is true? A. The range of projectile is maximum at 90 degrees, B. The height and range of a projectile are independent of the angle of release, C. The height of the projectile increases as the angle of release approaches 90 degrees, D. Complementary angles of release will result to projectiles having the same height given that the initial velocities are equal. The correct answer is C. The height of the projectile increases as the angle of release approaches 90 degrees. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.